my name is Casey. Welcome back to this channel. I'm in a different spot. I moved offices. Uh, hello. I made something and I wanted to share it with you guys. I love D&D. I play D&D. I listen to a lot of D&D podcasts. Um, I have... Oh, I just love it. Can I show you something? Let's show you. I have yet to put it on the shelf, but this is just like... This is just like our whole stack of D&D books. It's huge. I can come up with a really cool character, except I cannot come up with a really cool name, so I need a little bit of help. And that is where name generators come in, except for D&D name generators. They, all the ones that come up on the first search results page are like so complicated. You have to like pick what race and pick their like background before you can just like get a name. So, uh... I decided to build a little name generator in Webflow and make it a little, uh, little, uh, D&D-like, you know. Had to watch a few different videos on how to do it, so the JavaScript is pretty much adapted from uh, a different video that I'll link in the bio, but this is kind of how I adapted it for Webflow and styled everything, so I hope you like it, I hope you learned something, so here it is. Hi. Um, so we're starting just from scratch here. Uh, let's get into it. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do is add a div block. We're gonna be just the whole page wrapper. I'm gonna set it at 100 VH, just so it takes up the whole thing. And I'm also gonna do flex, because in the middle, I'm gonna put another div, and this is gonna be our um, generator wrapper and this is gonna house the generator part so in here i'm gonna do a heading i'm uh do a generate thy name i don't know why we're doing thy but i'm feeling it uh below that i'm gonna do a div block and this is where i want to end up putting the text for the generation that's gonna come out. So I'm gonna give it an ID of um, random name. And then I'm gonna put a button, hopefully not within that div block, within a different one, <laughs> um, just inside of there. I think that'll work a little bit better. I am gonna give this a class of, of random name also just so I can keep track of it. And then this button will label it as generate so we can target it later on. And I'll also make the button text generate. Cool. Oh, and here, I want this one to be flex also. So flex, vertical, make sure everything's in the middle there, make sure it's happy. I am also gonna give this a little bit of spacing you do do that's very scientific oh well um and i'll give this a little bit of um whoops not that kind of padding we want to do margin so it has a little bit of space on the bottom all right so now we're cooking we've got a title we've got our where our name is gonna go and we've got a generate button so before I style anything, I just like to get the JavaScript out of the way first. So I am going to open up my pages, my home, and then scroll on down to where the script is going to go. Yeah. Um, and I'm just going to write some, start writing some JavaScript because I'm a scripty little lady. So what do we need? Whoa, I'm so zoomed in. I'm sorry. You have to see me that close. Um, <laughs> look at this. Look, I can look at the code. We need to generate some names, right? I wanted a list of first names and I want a list of last names because you cannot have a good D&D um, &D character with just a uh, first name. So first thing I'm gonna do a array, a list of a bunch of first names. So we're gonna do this and then And where am I gonna get that list? Great question. Okay, I found it. This isn't like a D and D piece, but do, does anybody else remember this meme? Okay, so this was a really good Tumblr thread 
because you had this kind of name generator, but it was possible with this situation that you could end up with the name Moon Moon, which I also want to happen in my name generator. Ooh, Zonzao, Skorsks, Verdell. Ooh, I just like all of these. All right, we've got our list of first names. We've got our list of last names. Next thing we want to do is make a function. We want to start asking things nicely of JavaScript. Because you can't, if you don't ask nicely, sometimes it doesn't happen. We got our names. The next thing we want to do is asking JavaScript to do things. So I'm going to show you one way to do it. This is like a very, very basic way to do it. Um, obviously there are like other more optimized ways to do it, but this is the way I'm going to show you. Um, the first thing we're going to do is get a random number. And then the second thing we're going to do is ask JavaScript to use that random number to find two random names. And the last thing we're going to do is set those names as the text. So the first thing we're going to do is that random number. So we're going to do, um, maybe get random number. And that's going to go through, um, we're going to pass something through it and we'll call it the max because it's going to be the max number of things in the list. So that's the thing we're going to look for. So what we want to do is math.random um, times our max. Except if we do this just by itself, it's going to return a decimal. So we are going to do math.floor. So the next thing we want to do is get our names. So we're going to call this const get names. Uh, we're not passing like a first thing through it. So we'll do that. And this is going to return us a string. I got this wrong so many times because I thought it was just like these quotes, but it's like these ones. I don't know what these are called, but they're they're right under the little squiggly. So right under the little squiggly, there's a there's a coding tip for you. So we want to take a look at the first names list. It is a list. So in it, we are going to get a random number from first names dot length. So this is going to get a number and this thing around it is going to return whatever name that number is. And that's it. And then we just do the thing again with the second name. I don't know why it's doing this thing though. Oh, I have to do this thing again. That's it. So we got our names. We got our number. We got our names. Now we got to set names. Now this is where our, um, our IDs are going to come into play. Cause what we're going to do is document dot get element by oops by ID. We're going to get our random name and we are going to set the inner text to get names. I think that's it. And how do we do this? We do, so that's gonna set our text, but now we need to actually make it happen. And to make it happen over and over again, we want to get our generate button. So this is gonna take the thing we labeled generate, which is our button. Since this is a button, when we click on it, we want something to happen. So we're going to add an event listener. And that event is going to be click. And when that happens, we are going to do set names. So that was a lot of code. And I don't know if it's going to work. <laughs> so let's check. Let's go. <gasps> so close. So close. What did I miss? What did I miss? One thing I should have done is this. Is that it? All right, let's find out. Oh, spicy. Let's see if we can do it again. 
Yep, Franklin Brendan, Calder Storm, Fire Vertle, Calder Seed, Moon Seed. We'd love to see it. Moon Storm, Moon Rage. Gosh, this is so good. All right, so now that we know that the JavaScript works, we can just make this look nice. What do we want this to look like? I'm kind of making this up on the fly, so let's see. How about like a castle? All right, I found this one. I think it looks moody as hell. We're gonna keep it. And I do want it to be a lot larger, like that much space. And I also want this text to be very moody. Ooh, like this is good. Almendria. This vibe. For our button, I'm gonna give it like a, like a redness to it. I'm gonna make sure I select the box so that I can take this text out and the thing still applies. But I'm going to make this just huge. Um, and I also want to make this huge. like a dark color and then all of the text was white ooh yeah that's cool We love Moon Moon. What is up? It is day two. We're still cooking. I wanted to check on this because this is becoming uh, less good. And down here, down here it can just be on auto. Um, yeah, but this is not as good. We'll do a minimum height of four um, and then this can um, just be nothing. And that way, it fixes itself. Um, I will also center this because I think it looks better that way. We've got our heading, our name generator. It's staying where we want it to. Yeah, I think that's fine. That's it. Um, I'm gonna end the project there. Welcome to this. Let me actually make sure it does work on mobile. DND name generator. <laughs> yeah, it's cute. Cool. Well, I'm glad that worked out. I hope you liked the video. I will publish this as a clonable if you want to make your own. I'll probably add some extra names to it too before I post it. If you want to interact with it and generate some new names, hit me up if you get uh, the name Moon Moon because that's what this is built for. Anyway, Thank you for watching this video. Hope you have a great uh, time. Uh, come back next time for other weird things we build together. Uh, yeah. Bye.